Hello yung mga kalakbay. Ayan. So, happy Sunday again and we are again uh, here for our personal reflection. Ayan. So, we are now on the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time and today's Gospel sends us a message of hope and love especially in this time of pandemic. Apart from it, it is uh, the Gospel also today is a uh, sends us a consoling message, especially those who are burdened and those who are weary. For today's gospel, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Ayan. Isn't it very consoling? Come to me. Ayan. It is an invitation. A personal invitation that uh, that is rooted in a more personal relationship with him. Why? Imagine he he did not just say come, no? but instead he said, "Come to me." Okay. So we are being uh, called. We are being called. We are being invited. No? We are being invited in our context. In our context. We do not just invite anyone. We do not just call anyone no? uh, to to be part of our life, uh, to 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 join us. No, but sometimes no, we invite people, those who are dear to us. Eh? We invite people that are um, say we are uh, we are at at ease with them. No, so it is it is a more personal. It is a more personal relationship, no? So, it is the same invitation that is given to us by Jesus. An invitation um, to all those who are burdened and weary. He invites us to enter into a um, more personal relationship with Him. Um, for when we are into a relationship with Him, only then that we feel we find rest no? sabi nga niya no? Sa, i will give you rest no only when we have this personal relationship with him through the spirit no through the spirit only then that we will find rest only then then we will find comfort only then when everything will be uh, will be all right everything will be light uh, light and all right my fellow kalakbays as we travel and go on with our daily life we will always experience hardship there will always be hardship we will always encounter problems uh, but lifting this up to our personal god gives us um, the assurance that everything will be okay fellow kalakbays these problems, difficulties, and hardship will always be there. Uh, these are spices, no? the spices of our lives, uh, our life that allows us to enter into a relationship with our personal God. No? And um, that's why every time when we encounter problem, no? we we kneel we we kneel down no? and pray. No? Dumuluhod tayo and pray and contact our personal God to help us with this problem. Therefore, um, when we encounter this problem, this hardship, pray, no? pray. But what do we pray? Pray that the Lord God, no? pray not that the Lord God will remove this, this problem. Because this makes us, uh, this allows us to have a personal relationship with Him. Instead, pray for a stronger shoulder, a stronger shoulder, shoulder that we will be able to carry these problems, that we will be able to carry these problems with ease. I remember, I remember, I always say this every time we have youth encounter here. I always say, and uh, put uh, and 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 tell my. Uh, participants uh, our dear participants but remember this always there is no wine without pressing the grapes there is no perfume without crushing the flowers so whenever you feel that you are being crushed 
whenever you feel that you are being pressed, remember, God is bringing out the best in you. So fellow Kalakbays, Jesus himself is inviting us. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. God bless mga kalakbay, and may we, may we find our personal relationship. May we connect to our personal God for this personal relationship with Him. God bless everyone.